Okay. Do you know that America only recycles 32% of its waste? Oh, really? Does Korea recycle better or worse? Well, let me show you what a recycling looks like first. Follow me. Sounds good. Where are we going? <laughs> We're going into the dark abyss. Actually, this is our balcony where our recycling is set up. What are these things? Ta-da! So this is our little recycling station. Most Korean houses that I've been to have them. Um, it's divided into plastic, can that we also put glass in, paper, and then we take it one step further by recycling all our plastic bags and also cardboard. Huh. How do you get rid of something bigger like uh, these cupboards? Those cupboards, anything bigger basically needs to get reported and paid for separately. So depending on what part of Seoul you live in, there's different companies that deal with things like this. The one in our area of town is called Poneko too much information, but you basically call them and then let them know what you want to get rid of and they'll tell you how much it's going to cost and when you should put it out. What about old clothes you don't want? Old clothes you don't want get put in these recycling bins that are on like every other corner in residential areas. So if you walk around Seoul, you'll see these green bins that have a little opening up top. They're about like my height and you just dump them in there. Okay, here's a hard one. Is it a trick question? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with regular waste then? Like food and just random stuff like that? Food in Korea actually is its own category of waste. And so food has to get thrown out separately. Um, ours gets collected throughout the week in this little container. And you have to get uh, some stickers on our side of town to throw out your food waste. And so we just pop one of these on a bag of food waste before we take it out. Can we see your food waste? Yeah. Uh, a little bit gross, but this is what it looks like at the moment. It looks like someone ate some popcorn, and then there's just a bunch of mishmash of other stuff in there. Where do you get those stickers? The stickers you buy at the store, they cost 101 per liter, and most families use a three liter sticker, so that container is actually uh, the size of three liters. So one of these stickers would cost you 301, which is about 25 cents or less, maybe a little bit more. Um, but we get, we throw our trash, our food trash out about once a week. And everyone does this? Yeah, I mean, there's, depending on where you live, you might either have to buy these stickers, biodegradable bags, or they have RFID bins that people also have to like scan something and then get like the weight of your food um, weighed before you throw it out. Sounds complicated. I mean, it is a little bit complicated. I feel like, especially with food waste, there's rules about what can and can't go in food waste. And then it's like when you recycle, what counts and doesn't count as recycling. But you get used to it. I feel like for food, Korean kitchens are actually set up quite well for disposing of food waste. So most houses I've been to have a big tub and all sinks have a drain catcher basically so when people are doing dishes their food scraps go in there and then you'll just take this dump it in your food trash bin or bag whatever you use and this is for all food it's for yeah basically all your food all your food waste besides like shells bones some things like onion peel skins and stuff that go in regular trash Wait, so where does the regular trash go? Regular trash gets thrown out in also bags that you purchase. Um, actually, the, the color changes depending on what part of town you live in, but most families buy a standard 20 liter size bag and these cost, I think, $4.91 per 20 liter bag, which is like 40 cents. We throw about one of these away a week or every other trash day, so. Why is the government so strict on food trash? Food trash and regular trash. Well, food trash actually, I don't know if most people know this, but it's the biggest portion of waste from like any household or city. And so actually in America, food trash takes up the most space in landfills. And it also, I mean, it did in Korea too, like in the 90s, only 2% of food trash was recycled or something and the country was running out of landfill space, um, which is why they started this entire like, food recycling scheme. And everyone like this, everyone in the city recycles like this? 
I mean, honestly, the quality of recycling really depends on where you live. Oh no, I'm locked in. Um, but I think everyone knows that Korea is full of high-rise buildings. So in apartment complexes like those, that's not exactly an apartment complex, but like in apartment complexes, there's security guards that double as like the trash day police. And those guys are really strict on um, how recycling gets sorted and stuff. In a residential area like ours, it really depends on your landlord or your neighbors. Um, so how strict your landlord is or how good of a job your neighbors do because people can get peer pressured into recycling well or fall back <laughs> and do a really bad job. Are there any rules for recycling when you put it out? Um, recycling, I mean, besides sorting it, you have to stick recycling in clear bags. And so we have clear plastic bags for all our recycling. This is our paper. This is our plastic. I think that's all we're taking out today. Um, and you take it out on regular trash day. So that would be, for us, it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. And you just have to take it out the night before trash gets collected. So we can, I can come show you what it looks like. And you're just gonna put it in a bin? There is no bin. I hope you're not surprised to see this because I feel like people think that Seoul is a very developed city, which it is, but food trash, or not food trash, recycling and trash, um, looks like quite a different story before it gets taken, before it gets picked up by people. Wow, I hope you don't fall down the stairs. Um, yeah, so we probably take our trash out every other recycling or trash pickup day. So maybe every four to five days, but we're entering this hole. So here we go. You just take your trash out and your recycling and you set it on the side of the street. So you'll see our neighbors have already set out their trash, their food trash, and we do a pretty good job. I feel like it looks pretty clean for it being trash. And these people on the other hand, I don't know if I can say the same. <laughs> But yeah, it is Sunday night. By the time we wake up tomorrow morning, poof, the trash collecting elves are gonna come and take all our recycling away. Wait, so how much waste is re recycled in Korea? About 60% of waste is recycled in Korea. Food waste though, it's like 95%. That's it. Recycle yourself, bye. <laughs>